with the deep tissue massage of the legs. We're going to start with the client's supine and I'm going to start on this leg. So I'm going to lubricate the whole of the leg first. Start with effleurage to warm it up as usual. Trying to maintain contact, same as you normally would with any massage. So we're going to warm up with effleurage. I'm going to start with the lower leg, so warming up with effleurage first. And because this is deep tissue, we might warm up the heel of hand as well. How's the pressure? Okay. So we need to ask for feedback from the client so that they're not quietly cringing into the face hole. So we might do on the border as well. And then petrissage is a good one for the calves for warming it up. So we're going to warm it up around the back of the knee and down into the calf. You could also lift the leg and just give yourself a little bit of a different type of petrissage as well. It's quite nice just to roll that calf muscle. Is that alright, the pressure? So we want to be working to the pain scale, 1 to 10. 7 being the optimum, maximum really, pressure. What number is that? Seven. Seven, okay. So we're going to friction round the Achilles tendon. Frictioning is analgesic, stimulates the endorphins in the body. And then we're going to come up, we're going to friction the popliteal lymph nodes, back of the knee. And also making sure you friction the attachments below the knee, where the hamstrings come in. And we're going to effleurage just to drain. Then I'm going to come up in rows. So I'm going to come up in rows and palpate with my thumb. So I'm going to come up the outside of the leg first. Any tenderness there? And we're going to try and find palpate for some pressure points. Here. Is that the right space? When I find a pressure point, I'm going to get the client to take a deep breath in. And as he breathes out, I'm going to apply pressure to that point and hold for a count of 10. I'm going to ask what, what, what number it is. A six. So it may come down, if it's an acute pressure point, it might come down quickly in its severity or it might just stay the same which tells me it's a little bit more chronic. So what number is that now? It's a two. So it's coming down, I'm going to effleurage it out and come a little bit further up. 
Any more? No. So my next row is coming up about an inch or two inward. Anything along here? So we're feeling, what about there? Yeah. So take a deep breath in and out. So we're feeling a pressure point as an area of tenderness. If you press too firmly, it'll always be tender, or in a lot of cases, it'll be tender. So a pressure point is a slightly different pain. What number is that now? Two. Two, okay. So we're gonna effleurage that one out. And then we're gonna go a little bit further. There. being a little bit more sensitive around the back of the knee, not so much pressure. So this time I'm going to come right up through the middle. Right there. There. So breathe in and out. And what number's that? A seven, okay. Just hang on to it. And now, uh, out of three, so hang on a little bit longer. So in some cases, you might find an enormous amount of pressure points. If you do, then you're going to be selective as to which ones you're going to work on because the whole treatment really should take half an hour. And some people might not have any at all, in which case I will be moving on to another part of the leg. So then I'm going to do the same this side. Breathe in. And out. Down to a two, so I'm going to effleurage that out. And then go on a little bit further. And then finally, we're going to come up the inside. Anything? Not too bad. So we're going to effleurage out to the popliteal lymph node. Maybe a few vibrations. And then I'm going to do the same for the hamstrings. So moving up into the back of the leg. These are the hamstrings. You've got the adductors on the inside, tensor fasciata and iliotibial band coming down the outside. So we're kneading. Watching your stance, your posture, make sure that you spread your legs and take your weight evenly in the legs and not bend to strain your back. So again, we're going to knead. And friction above the knee, where you have your attachments from the calf muscles. And again, this side. Heel of hand. You might even warm up a bit with the arm. How's that pressure? And then we're 
going to come up, see if we can find any pressure points. Nothing. And then another row. About there. Okay, breathe in and out. And we're going to afflorage to drain and toxins and waste products. So just finishing off that row. Any more? No. Anything here? About there. There. What number's that? Oh gosh. Breathe in and out. And we're going to effleurage it out. Coming up a bit further. Any more? Nope. So now we're going to do some vibrations just to Make sure the muscles relaxed and finish with effleurage. And flick it away. Okay, then I'm going to move on to the other one. Okay, so again, I'm going to effleurage to warm up the leg. And then into the calf. So I'm using ordinary effleurage inside and outside. And then heel of hand. border and you might if you've got a big calf go up with the forearm is it all right for you just warming it up then we're going to petrissage. Maybe raise the foot. Strum across those muscles. Is that all right or a bit tight? What number? Okay, so then we're going to friction around the Achilles tendon. And then effleurage up, friction back of the knee. Any tenderness here? Sorry? particularly the attachments on the bones. Okay, so I'm going to start on the inside this time. How's that? Okay. 
Okay. There's nothing there. Coming a little bit further in. Here. Breathe in. And out. What number is that one? Is that one seven? Okay. So I'm just going to hang on to that. Let the client breathe deeply. And if we can focus on the muscle area and try and focus on relaxing it, we have a lot more control over our muscle relaxation than we often think we have. And if you can get your client to deep breathe and focus into the area and relax that muscle, it can be much more beneficial. And deep breathing helps if it's tender as well to relax the client while you're doing it. What number is that now? Four. Four. Okay, we'll hang on to it a little bit longer. Okay, so we'll effleurage that one out. And we'll come up a little bit further. What's that one? So the idea is to go slowly, not too fast, that you miss some of the trigger points. And also, you know, watch your pressure. If you press too firmly, everybody will feel pain anyway. So you just want to make sure it's firm, but not inflicting pain. Anything here? Breathe in. And out. Just on the edge of the soleus. Coming across to the peroneus longus is coming up this side as well. And the flex digitorum longus comes up through here. Okay, so we're going to effleurage that out. And then we're going to come follow through. Feels a bit lumpy, but it's not painful. Here. Okay, so we're going to, as it comes down, you might not have heard that. That was sort of th three, two, and then I'm effleuraging out. So, yeah, there. Breathe in. And out. And there we go. There. Breathe in and out. Okay, so come down to a two. We're going to just finish this row. And then finally, we're coming up. It's Peroneus longus and brevis at the side here. There, breathe in and out. It can often be a tender area, I think, the peroneus longus and brevis side. Especially for anybody who does any exercise at all, walking, cycling, golfing. And we're going to effleurage it out. I'm just going to finish that row. There. Breathe in. And out. So we're going to effleurage that out and then we're going to move on to the upper hamstrings, semitendinosus, semimembranosus, biceps femoris, the hamstrings. You've got the gracilis and the adductors coming up the inside and the IT band coming down the outside and just the edge of the vastus lateralis as well. So we're going to effleurage to warm. Uh, 
and petrissage. Go around the other side. Do a bit of percussion. finish with kneading as a sort of full stop to prepare and tone the muscles a bit. Gives you an idea of where you may have some problems to work on as well. Okay, so we're going to effleurage a bit more. Maybe use the elbow, come up the middle. Is that alright for you? You might use the other one. Friction. The attachments. And a farage it away. Okay, so I'm going to come up the inside first. So from there, straight away, breathe in and out. Coming up a bit further. Coming up the gracilis. Gonna do a row. Nothing here. And then up through the middle. Breathe in and out. What number is that? And then finally at the IT band. vibrations just to make sure the muscles relaxed and then we're going to finish with effleurage Get away, don't forget to untuck your client's back pants. <laughs> 